Hi, I'm Katie, a Hobbycraft artisan and artist. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to paint a fox using acrylics. We'll be using some of the more advanced techniques learned throughout the series. Let's get started. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. For this project, you will need acrylic paper pad, a palette, Pebio Studio acrylics, a sponge, a pencil, a fan brush, a flat wash brush, a round brush, an angled brush. Always sketch out your subject briefly when painting something of this manner. Just a few outlines of the main shape, where the nose and eyes will be, and any places where there will be a large contrast of colour are good guidelines to make for yourself. I recommend to use a good photo reference. Start by blocking in the main colour. For the fox it will be a rusty orange and you may need to mix a few shades such as yellow ochre, raw sienna, a hint of cadmium red and some white. Try to mix more colour than you need as mixing exactly the same colour again may be difficult. Place down this colour as a base where the colour appears. You don't need to be too careful at this point as this is just the underpainting. It's good to always paint in the direction the fur is growing, even at these stages though. Pay attention to lighter and darker areas and adjust your colour accordingly and apply the different tones roughly. For white areas, I like to block this in with a light grey, just so I have a base to work upon. I also like to layer some different tones here and add some depth, but generally just create a base at this stage. Next, you can block in with some of the other colours such as a dark grey around the eyes and nose, any large shadows around the face and the darker areas of the ears. Here you are just building up a colour base and it might not look very good at this point, but keep going. Use a slightly lighter shade of the rust colour to start adding in some clumps of colour over the underpainting. Do the same with the white areas and begin to refine the ear area more.
Continue to layer colours. I find it useful to start dark and continue building a lighter shade. The next part is building up the detail. So using the painting fur technique, you will start to layer up light tones to achieve a furry texture. Around the ear area, we'll need layering to get those textures, while also building up the shadows and highlight. Add in all the fur texture around and inside the ear, making sure to add in shadow and highlight where necessary. Build up the eye, starting by blocking in the colours, adding shade and highlights to the eye colour and refining the details. For the nose, add a darker black where the nostril would be and add shade and highlights to add more detail. Once you have a good amount of depth and form of the fox, you can go in with a smaller brush and start adding fur textures.
find the mouth and any areas that have got lost along the way. Finally, add the final highlights with white on the eye and use an off-white to create the uppermost furs that will be catching the light. This will really make your painting pop. Visit hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop, find your next craft project or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. See you again soon for more videos.